What did I get myself into? What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. So we are mounting tires. Not just any tires, biggins. I bought 38, 13 and a half Toyo Open Country Mud Terrains last year. And uh, just now getting them, mounting them up. There is a bunch of things I wanted to do beforehand, but due to a oil field layoff, that is on hold. Tires are going on. Now this one I had in the back, I kind of crisscrossed them when they got real low. I definitely don't recommend riding your uh, tires out that far, but I have a few trucks. So I'll legitimately be mounting and balancing them myself. So thanks to HP Motors for letting me use their equipment. I'm gonna use my handy dandy head cam, see how that goes. We're going from 37, 12 and a half, 20 trail grapplers that are wore right out to these 38, 13 and a half, 20 Toyo Open Country Mud tires. That, yeah, just ignore that. Ripping chrome off, yeah. Never mind that. We'll fix that. that one over there. Yeah, she, uh, they're very close in size, but being a little worn out 37 and a brand new 38, you know. And we got brake bead. I don't have tire pressure monitor sensors, so I can just go right at it. Apologize for the shape. Turn around, hit it from the back. Oh yeah. That about did the whole wheel. <sighs> All right. So I've already done uh, measuring my my wheel. Uh, my wheel lips out far enough, I can leave my sensor cap on because we are not balancing with that. And we'll get to that when we get to that. But oh my god! Oh. All right. Now we're gonna bite the lip from the face side. Okay, we're good. Bring this on down. Walker in place. Get a little assistance. All right, take away the assistance. And then pull like hell. Oh, 
gosh. Now we spin it. Nope. Still got a bead over here. Just caught that. All right. There we go. Nasty sounds. Now, that's a lot of weights. Get her down to the other side. Oh my lord. This sucks in a non-AC garage. But oh my god. Alright. Oh mama. Alright, away with you. Thank you for your service. Get you some uh, wheel weights removed. Ouch. This is my own personal wheel, so. And they're old nasty wheels too. They're nothing special about them now. So, I'll get a little aggressive with them. I would never do this with somebody else. But... All oh yeah. You get your new 38, 13 and a half toil. Got some goopity gop here. <laughs> Nice clean tire, about to get destroyed. I'm gonna try to get angry at it. Now, unfortunately, at least I don't have the umph to seat it on, so. You gotta utilize the equipment. I'm gonna space this out a little bit. Right there. We're gonna spin her on. Oh yeah. A little more of that awesome goopity got. Oh yeah, all right. Push that down. Slowly spin it on. And I have a problem with making sure a bead doesn't form. Because I'm difficult to train. Alright, so we're at a bind. And the tire is about 485 bucks each. I ain't trying to destroy it. Bump it. Oh yeah. Oh, we're home free, look at that. All right. I am balance feeding this. So we'll push down that far. And I have been instructed that I need two bags of these. Uh, these are Hoffman power weights. They're uh, six ounce bags. So what I was instructed was, dump it in. Make sure nothing's coming from underneath, but it should have already caught the bead. Do one more. Can't throw these away. There is a valve stem and a cap in there. Almost threw that away. And in with the next bag. Now I've used steel balance beads before, or little BB kind and they were horrible. As soon as they got wet, vibrated like crazy. So I ended up having my 04 truck rebalance with the half ounce and quarter ounce plates. Now for the fun part. 
picking it off. So I'm gonna hit the pedal, it's gonna release, and I'm gonna try to pull the wheel. Oh my God, why? Why? Oh, cause it looks cool, that's why. All right, now to give her the air. And just wait for the pops. Kabang. It's already taking shape there. Thank God I didn't need to use an air cheater. You know, I'm being on my own. I'm not a pro tire installer by any means, so. There we go, that's good. Now we're gonna have a nice one here. Woo! Oh yeah. All right. Now the fun part. Put my valve core back in. I'm gonna air them up on the truck. So I gotta take a face full of air for a second. Oh, too slow. And away with it. A little bit of a size difference, huh? Oh yeah. So this is a 12 and a half wide as well. This is a 13 and a half. It really don't really look all that different. I'm sure it will with time, because right now this is brand new tread and the tread's standing up taller. This makes it look more like it's 12 wide. But, you know, Nitto, Toyo, they make their stuff very similar, but still differently. Now, since I balance beaded it, I'm not putting it on a balancer. So that's gonna save me that. Let's see, I like to get my top stud. Oh yeah. And it's gotta get mad at it. Oh yeah. That wasn't bad, cool. So I will start my lugs, I'll land them with an impact, then we'll uh, check tire pressure, then drop the jack and torque the wheels. Oh my gosh, it's hot. All right, where is that valve stem? Right there. 21, so I am going to run these up to 60. Um, it's a low D tire. And I believe it calls for uh, 50 cold. Uh, somewhere on the tire it says that. But I am not towing, and I wanna run these at 60 just to uh, get them their initial run here. Because from what I understand with balance speeds, it's gonna be a little bit rough for a couple miles, and then it's gonna balance out as it should. So we're going to uh, just try that out, and then if it rides too rough or whatever, or if I, feel like it's uh, too hard, I'll drop them down to 50. But the truck, I mean, it's a 2500 Duramax, so it calls for a higher PSI anyway. Like so a 80 in the back and 65 in the front. I'm gonna run 60 all around on this one. All right. So, my Lord. <laughs> oh yeah, so, uh, <laughs> I don't know what you have to expect as far as like rubbing and stuff. This is a, a 1500 uh, wheel liner. My old one fell out. Um, I use tiny little clips. So that's not the big concern. I'm pretty sure there will not be any rubbing. It's a 20 by nine wheel with a uh, negative 12 offset. Man, I do like how that looks though. So I got the back two already changed. I did this one on camera when I knew what I was doing. All I have left is that last one there, and she's a whole new truck. And then up another couple inches. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna get that mounted and I'll be right back. All right, and finally, after all that slaving, it's all done. This is where my head's level is. <laughs> the 38s are on. Awesome. Only one thing to do now, road test. All right, first drive off, setting off. You ready? <laughs> Hopefully it's a smooth ride, buddy. See how it feels. So good. It's not bumpy or harsh. It is going to 
gonna take a little more power to get a roll on at times, but probably not a whole lot, not as much as I think. Probably just gonna affect uh, hill climbing and whatnot. Yeah, so far so good. All right, fifth gear, torque converter locked. Still as peaceful as it was before. That's good. Sitting so high that the tires aren't tucked up in the wheel well, so it's uh, gonna be more of a peaceful ride as it is, which is really nice. Oh yeah. This feels a lot better. So far, like pulling out of the parking lot, I have not had any bad rub. So, I, my tunes were tuned for the 37, 12 and a half, so the circumference has changed, so it's probably going to read a little slower now. So I don't know for sure. I'll just I'll figure out what my mile per hour is off, and uh, I'll handle it from there. Other than that, it's, it's nice and smooth right now. I'm 16.55 mile an hour. I'm pretty happy with it. That's real nice. You like it? <laughs> You got a dirty face, just like me. So I thought it'd be pretty cool to see how a tire gets mounted. Some of you have never done it before, and it's not so bad, especially being of that size. So I hope you learned something. I hope you were a little entertained, and uh, thank you for watching, everybody. All right, a couple days later, our weather has been nothing but gloomy, rainy, and nasty, but I don't have time to clean the truck up for this. So here are the tires. I was really hoping to wash up the truck and make a take a good photo of it. So far so good though. They're definitely a little more heavy. You can definitely feel it climbing hills and whatnot. They still don't look like they're massively wide by any means, but I mean you know, but the truck having so much height kinda dwindles it down. But overall I'm very happy. 38, 13 and a half Toyo Open Countries. Very, very cool look. It's also really nice to have a tread like that again. Oh, the traction is amazing. I'll tell you what. <laughs> well, all right, that does it for this one. So if you enjoyed, please subscribe for more. Rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you. Have a good one.